I have some code here that uses system.out.println and I want to use a logger. I could amend the code myself, but because this is a fairly common pattern when I code, I want to automate both the detection of this coding pattern and the code generation and refactoring. I'm going to use the free Secure Code Warrior Sensei plugin for IntelliJ to do that. First, I press Alt Enter or Command Enter on a Mac to create a new recipe and I'll start from scratch. And I give it a name. This will help me find it in the list of recipes in my cookbook. And the description is shown in the documentation alert and the problem report in IntelliJ when the recipe triggers. I'll show you that later. And the level is how it will be rendered in the IDE. With my current settings, if I choose error, then it will be shown with red underline and I can easily spot the problem in my code. And when I click create, I will be prompted to create a cookbook file in my project because this is a new project and it doesn't have a cookbook. I use the GUI to create a search and I can see the code which matches my search condition on the right. It has defaulted to a method call, so it matches the only method call in the code. I want to be more specific than that. I want to search for the method call named println on the field named out in the class named java.lang.system. And if I save that, I'll see that I now have a recipe that will tell me that there's a problem, which is great. This is half the work done. The next step is to fix the code and amend it and actually add a logger. To get back to my recipe, I make sure I select the cookbook I saved it to and click Manage Recipes. Then select it in my list of recipes and this time I want to use the Quick Fix tab. Here I have my actions in the top part of the dialog and a diff view at the bottom. The left of the diff view is my current code and the right of the diff view is what the code looks like when the fix is applied. At the moment we haven't written a fix, so all this would do is delete the line of code. I can create multiple fixes for each recipe, so I give them a name that will show in the intentions dialog in the IDE. And I will rewrite the code to use a logger, and we'll see the code dynamically updating in the diff view as I write the code. I use the show variables functionality to populate the template with information from my existing code. I want the argument from the println statement to log that. So I find that in the list and you can see we are using mustache templating to build and generate the code. As well as adding the logger line, I want to make sure I add the logger as a field. And I'll type the full declaration in here. And I need to use the name of the class, which again, I'll find in the mustache variables list. I need to find the name so I can use it in the class get name to instantiate the locker properly. And this is fine, but if I stopped here, I would have to manually add all the imports. But if I fully qualify the classes in my template, Sensei will automatically generate the import statements into my generated code, and it will only add each import once. Then when I save it and go back to the IDE, the code in error will be highlighted and I can use the quick fix intentions in IntelliJ to apply the action from our recipe. And I deliberately didn't fully qualify the field because I want to show you the iterative type of process I use when creating recipes. I've applied the recipe, so I will use IntelliJ to import the level. Then I'll copy and paste the full package and class qualification code into my recipe editor. And next time I apply the recipe, it will fully generate the code, including all the imports. And now I'm using a logger instead of a print statement. And before we finish, I'll just show you why we add the description. If I undo this change and hover over the error in the code, I can see the description that I added, and I also have the ability to apply the code fix with the mouse click. Sensei helps you create custom recipes to enforce your own code quality standards and approaches. Learn more at securecodewarrior.com slash sensei.